feel like I'm in hell because it's that hot. We've been waiting almost a month and a half to get into our housing, trying, you know, trying to survive. It's a housing crisis, meaning a hot weather crisis, meaning a healthcare crisis. I've had to identify way too many people under white sheets. I don't want to do it anymore. Almost 40 people on sleep on the overpass at night where we are located. We picked that location because it's shade. Sometimes you have wind coming through. My husband and I moved to Orlando to get away from Miami. We have Session 8 voucher that Orlando Housing is taking over and we gotta wait for them to give us our voucher. So we're currently on the street since June 23rd, 2023. Do the shelter thingy? Yeah, I'm gonna call them right now. I just have two clients looking for shelters. So we wanted to know if you had any available room. All right. Well, I thank you so much. She, she said a lot of people are calling or calling from Orange County. They're full to the max. So I tried on that. Um, I don't know of any other shelters in the area, you guys. So I, I apologize. It's real bad. It's like sometimes I get dizzy, drowsy. My body feel the heat. My temple swells up and I get a bad headache. It was really the shoes last year that sort of first identified the heat problem. So we had all these people coming in and their feet were burned, like severely burned. And the, the folks running our clothing program were like, gosh, there's a lot of people asking for shoes. They just don't have anything on their feet. But it didn't click with us until our security officers started saying, there's a lot of people passing out. And we're seeing ambulances now like three times a day. What's going on? The ambulances are here because of the heart attacks and the strokes and the seizures. They're here because people are dehydrated and they're they're passing out. Have a seat. How long have you had your seizure disorder? Since I was 23. And when was your last seizure? Yesterday. Yesterday, okay. And prior to that time? The day before that. Okay. What kind of seizures do you have typically? Grandma. Uh, uh-huh. Seizures. So completely lose consciousness? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it comes quickly. <clears throat> and you guys, have you kind of been able to escape a little bit? Um, not really. This summer in particular, we've really seen more individuals who have had issues related to heat. A number of unsheltered individuals has gone up dramatically. If they have medical issues, a lot of those medical problems are exacerbated. And we're keeping up with it for now, but the number of people that are coming to this campus continues to grow every week, and the heat continues to grow every week, and there's a point in which I won't be able to handle the capacity. Yeah, I get that bread there. You ain't gonna eat it. No. Nope. I kind of visualize me camping so I won't like get depressed or break down. The real reality is like, no, you're not camping, you're literally on the sidewalk. Last night, she was overheating, she was sweating, her eyes rolling in the back of her head. All I can do is try to fan her, try to keep her cool, keep her head elevated, and let's continue to pray.